Hey there! If you're wondering what to wear for a plus size boudoir shoot, this video's for you. It's showtime. Hello, my name is Mike Lloyd and I've been a professional photographer for 12 years and I have done a lot of boudoir shoots. I've helped all kinds of clients pick out what clothes to wear because I really enjoy the styling part of it. And no two people are the same size, shape, height, weight, color, anything. So every single person is different and I love that because you bring something unique to the photo shoot just being you. So what should you wear for a photo shoot? And I get asked this question a lot, specifically what to wear for plus size clients who want to do a boudoir session. Well, I think the most important thing is that you wear what you feel good in or what you want to feel good in. And there is no dress code, at least definitely not in my studio. You can wear whatever you want. It doesn't just have to be lingerie. Do you have a favorite dress? Cool, jeans and a top, great. Do you like raincoats? bring them. Like literally anything is fair game here. Different photographers will give you different wardrobe styling guidance. They might have different preferences based on their own style, but I'm going to give you a few different things to look at when choosing your outfits for your photo shoot right here in this video. All right, so the three things I'm going to go over, what would you wear on a date night, how to get inspiration for other outfits, and who you should ask specifically to get counsel on this. So firstly, what would you wear for date night? This is the thing that I was just kind of talking about that you don't just have to wear lingerie at a boudoir session because there is no one definition of sexy if that's what you're going for. If you want to look confident, elegant, feminine, if you want to be strong, if you want to be more submissive, if you want to be whatever you want to be, dress the role. So if you have a favorite dress that you wear out on date night or jeans and a top, or maybe you wear a suit, whatever you are feeling, that is an outfit you should absolutely bring to your session, right? We all have the one outfit we'd wear to any interview when we're trying to get a new job because we feel good in that outfit. We think we look good in the outfit, therefore we feel good in the outfit, it's the same in a photo shoot. Wear the things you feel good in or that you want to feel good in. This could be a great opportunity to push your comfort zone, try a new outfit that might be a little more revealing or a different color, different cut, different style, different something than you're used to. But always go back to that tried and true, I always feel good in this, rock it. And that's what we start the shoots with because I want you to come into the studio I mean, you're gonna be in sweatpants or pajamas when you come in here anyway, but when we do your first outfit for the actual shoot, I want you feeling your best. And when you know you look good in this outfit, that energy shines in the photos. Number two, where to look for inspiration. Like Instagram is cool, but Pinterest is where it's at because everyone curates boards on Pinterest of what kind of outfits for every possible occasion, style, scenario, you name it, and boudoir photography is alive and thriving on Pinterest. So you can go in, you're like, well, I want to do plus size boudoir shoots, but maybe also a pinup look or Victorian style. Maybe I want... I don't know, 1950s or victory curls or something, right? Maybe I'm more boho, maybe I'm more hippie, I don't know. But if you type in hippie plus size boudoir sesh, I guarantee you are gonna find a ton of inspiration for the types of outfits that you'll wanna get. Now, you don't have to copy those outfits, but they will be inspiration. Maybe you never thought of doing, you know, a woven halter with some cute jean cutoffs. That can be boudoir also if you're more into the boho style or more country style, right? You don't just have to stick to lingerie. And I think that's the biggest takeaway of today. If you don't feel comfortable in it, don't wear it. And if you want to feel comfortable in it, this is a great opportunity to get outside your comfort zone and try something new. But Pinterest, definitely recommend searching there. You can jump onto Fashion Nova is another great site, even Amazon, and just look up boudoir outfits, and you're gonna find all kinds of, of inspiration. Number three, who specifically to ask for guidance? Your photographer. Now, if I'm your photographer, you already know that I have a very thorough prep guide that will help you plan everything before your photo shoot. Plus, we've talked about it on the consultation before you even booked your shoot. So you should have a really good idea of the kind of outfits that you want to wear. If somebody else is your photographer, hopefully they are doing the same. They will know what kind of outfits photograph well, they should know what types of fabrics to avoid, what colors are good for different skin tones, different things like that. And again, you know what you feel good in, that's the most important part, 
But if you're not sure if an outfit is going to work in the shoot, I always recommend bringing everything. I've got a rack here in my studio where we can hang all of your clothes and I will go through them with you to find the four or five best outfits we're going to shoot during your session. Your photographer will probably be able to do the same. That's definitely a question you're going to want to ask. If you bring 10 outfits and you're only going to shoot three, will they help you pick the best three? Also, as photographers, we like buying a ton of accessories and things for our studio that we may not necessarily need, but they seem like fun toys and we may only have one client wear it once, but it was totally worth it. Essentially, we have client closets is kind of the industry term for that. We call mine the vault. One of my clients named it. And it's full of corsets and dresses and skirts and robes and gowns and all kinds of fun stuff that my clients are welcome to. And I have them in all different colors and sizes and styles and you name it, ton of stuff in there that my clients are welcome to use. So if you're also not sure what kind of things you should be bringing, your photographer might have something already that you can use. Definitely ask that question. So there you go. That is how to find your outfits for a plus size boudoir photo shoot. Wear what you already feel good in. And it doesn't just have to be lingerie. Get on Pinterest and search whatever kind of style you are looking for. And I guarantee you will find great inspiration. And three, ask your photographer because they'll help you pick out from the clothes you bring. They might also have clothes that you can wear as well. Now, I know when it comes to lingerie, I don't let clients use studio lingerie. I don't have studio lingerie. I have all the other things. Like I said, the dresses, skirts, gowns, kimonos, robes, corsets, all that good stuff. I don't believe in sharing lingerie. I think that's like a one-time use and it's your kind of thing. So again, check with your photographer, see what they do. And if you're curious about getting in front of my camera, I would love to put together a shoot for you. You can find more information at mikeloydstudios.com. And if you're not feeling like coming to California, totally cool. I have great videos on this channel about finding your own local photographer. So be sure to check out those videos as well. You are amazing. We'll see you inside.